y'all family this is the day that the most high is made we will rejoice and be glad in it y'all i had a zombie dream last night i haven't had a zombie dream in over two years and i've only had three in my life and this is when i was heavy into new age and occult and um uh their type of spirituality instead of god's spirituality but um it was in these dreams that they were just running around. Everybody was running around havoc and a monk and everything. And then these zombies were fighting in the dream. And I became conscious in the dream. And I was just watching them. And they were looking at me like, and then just like stopped in the action. And I was just like, okay, maybe if I like act, act like I'm still asleep and walk around them, they won't know that I know what they doing. But as I was walking off, they tried to um, attack me behind my back. And uh, my angelic assistance, my angels had shielded the attack. But um, I had a dream yesterday and I was going to sleep. It was a dream slash vision because it was only like a 30 minutes that I was asleep. And I was listening to Psalms 5, 3, 33, and 60, um, a, collage of, a collage of Psalms that is for nations against nations. So I was playing the Psalms and I went to sleep. And in this dream, I was in my city, but I was in the streets and I was walking around and I seen a couple of people from my past. And also I was, um, you know, uh, seeing the, uh, I was talking to some king over the land. And he was, I was basically like, you need to extend your territory. Um, you need to stretch out and do all this other stuff. And he said he can't because his enemies, the other lords and the other kings was like, they, uh, I had to be confined into this area and I was telling like this is what God wants you to do though um, he needs you to step it up and um, uh, work uh, work your power and everything like that and there I was on the phone with this one girl and she was basically saying like uh, I was telling her what was going on here and she was like you need to go outside and get on the hill and start singing to the most high and doing certain prayers and I was like yeah that's what I do I do that uh, very often you know so the um they can hear me in the heavens and so that my uh prayers can get through and also so that I can get the the favor and the protection that I need and so she was like yeah that's good and so I went back into one of the rooms and I ended up going to sleep and I heard something outside and I it was like people was running around so I opened the door and it was complete darkness and I seen people run around in, in like super speed and just like straight up demons. These zombies, these straight up, these are straight up demons. I grabbed one by the head and tried to, um, with my hands, cast it out. And it tried to bite me on my hand. And uh, they was just like raggling around. And after a while, me using a lot of, uh, saying, hearing the different psalms that I was playing, I was saying those psalms. And it was disabling them but it wasn't getting the 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 solution that I, I really needed so I was thinking what else can I do and I remember to call on the name of Yahushua Mashiach Jesus Christ of Nazareth and to also say Holy Spirit fire on your Holy Ghost fire um on you so as I was doing that one got away and the other one I held it and I was like Holy Spirit fire Holy Ghost fire and I was just um I started speaking in tongues I started speaking to different psalms and everything like that and they started uh vaporizing it started shaking it was on the floor and it was doing a whole lot of screaming and then finally the woman went numb I was like I cast you out get out of this woman then the woman went numb and was laying down on the floor and I was like is it all out <laughs> like are you gone like but then after that I woke up and I was just super surprised at that dream and so uh these were the messages that I received from the most high on what to do in this instance because um a lot of your favorite spiritual teachers and um prophets they have been speaking this into existence God says we have the power of life and death in our tongue and they they're continuing to release videos of zombie zombie apocalypse playing right into what the enemy wants this is exactly what the enemy the 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 demonic realm the witches and warlocks they want they want it to be a zombie apocalypse they put it in the movies they they um reveal what they're trying to do in the movies this is not prophecy prophecy is all in the bible and um they they want it to be um the, the dead to rise because we serve a god of the living but different other spiritual practices and cults and religions they serve a god of the dead so they need the dead to rise for darkness to be on the whole face of the earth and 
darkness once once this happens darkness is going to be on the whole face of the earth but we got to be able to learn to cast these demons out if this does happen this can be something that might take place by us um not casting out the the demons by us not speaking the word of god by us not praying not staying protected and knowing that we can shield ourselves from certain things that's being projected on this earth by using what god gives us he said he gives us all the power over the uh the air and the earth so and luke and also to command a thing to make it happen. So it's going to also be the um, the homeless that are on the street that have already lost their mind and they're easy for possession right now. They're going to be the ones that do get affected if this is to take place. Um, so make sure that you're always uh, watching out for your homeless people and, you know, not treating them, treating them like everybody else. And also in the movies, I Am Legend and uh, D Nation and um, all quarantine, all your favorite zombie movies and breakouts. It always happens after the there was a virus and a shot taking place and done into the people for them to have that zombie outbreak. So all those things mixed with demonic pressure, demonic spirits is going to be a no go. So it's, it's going to be, um, I, I seen that it was just completely total darkness and um, we're supposed to be the light on the earth right now. So if a lot of the chosen ones step up and start doing what God tells us to do, heal the sick, feed the poor, cast out devils, this won't have to happen. But if we continue to allow the media to brainwash us and follow certain um, methods and, and viruses and just treat each other like trash, we don't have no choice but to allow the enemy to do the spell that he's trying to do on the earth right now and on a lot of the people. So um, that was my video. And um, also, yeah, these, these zombies are straight demons. They're, they're, they want to have it to be, uh, they call it a zombie apocalypse. Apocalypse just means the revealing of evil or the revealing of darkness or things that's to come and then these zombies are demons that they people are getting possessed left and right um not knowing not knowing they're being used and also just like um allowing their vessel to be given up once they already given power to the kingdom of darkness by doing certain witchcraft and also uh just releasing certain videos that are not going to help us grow as a whole but that was my video. I was just like so surprised that I received that video and I was thankful that I was able to know exactly how to cast them out because I'm about action and I, I really don't play now that I know my purpose and I know what I'm supposed to be, supposed to be doing. Like I, I cast out demons every day or I try to make sure. And if you don't have the anointing on you, if you haven't been um, saved, if you don't know God or if you didn't get that uh, assignment or that um, or anything, just don't willy-nilly go around just start casting out devils. There's been times when I tried to just rebuke these devils and I did not have the Holy Spirit in me. I did not have the power of God within me strong and I completely got um, messed with and, and, and taken advantage of. So you got to make sure that you have all that and then you can't go into these situations with a spirit of scarcity, um, a spirit of fear. God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. So in, in trust and you have faith and belief and hope, then you'll be able to uh, do what you need to do. And also feeding on the word, the word of God is a light and a sword and a spirit. So you need that to be able to fight against the darkness. And um, that was my video today, putting light to the darkness and balance to the light. Shalom.